Welcome to Litmus Zone. This video is about the basic tutorial about how to solve the crypto arithmetic problems. Okay, so let's start with what is crypto arithmetic. Okay, so the crypto arithmetic is the science and art of creating and solving crypto arithmetics. Okay, so the basic idea of crypto arithmetic is digits are replaced by letters of the alphabet or other symbols. Okay, so suppose you have any basic multiplication problem. Basic multiplication, which I mean to say, is uh, this one. Okay, consider this as a one, two, three cross twenty-three. Okay, so this is a basic multiplication problem. Okay, so what you are doing is you are replacing three with any alphabet A. Okay, you are replacing two with any alphabet is equal to uh, C. Okay, so you will do the replacement everywhere. Means you will replace this C. You will replace this C. You will replace here also C. Okay, so C. Wherever you can see the value of uh, two is present, you will have to replace it with C. Okay, so now for three we have taken A. Okay, so okay, so just replace uh, three with A. Okay, so in this way. We have to replace each digit with an alphabet. Okay, so if you will see this example, this is a basic arithmetic problem in three cross three multiplication. Okay, so the resulting solution for this problem is uh, you can see it from here. Okay, so uh, six eighty six cross three twenty seven. Okay, so if you will replace uh, seven with t, six with e. Okay. And if you will replace three with the alphabet M is equal to three, okay, the resulting crypto arithmetic problem will look like this one. Okay, so now what you have to do is you have to identify, you have to identify which alphabet is representing which digit. Okay, means digits are replaced by the letters of the alphabet. Okay, so you have to identify which alphabet. Means, I uh, suppose in this case E. Okay, what is the corresponding value of E in digit? Okay, so this is basic idea. How what is litmus? Uh, what is uh, litmus? What is arithmetic problem? Uh, and let's go to the how this arithmetic will help you in cracking litmus. Okay, so solving a arithmetic problem will take nearly 10 to 12 minutes in exam. Okay. So if you are able to solve the puzzle, then you can easily answer three questions based on cryptomatic problem within two minutes. Okay, the questions are only based on basic mathematics like the value of a plus b plus c or two a plus c or triangle related problems. Okay, let's have a basic uh, idea what are the problems uh, uh, in present in the exam. Okay, so let's come there. We can see that uh, suppose if this is a problem in the exam. Okay, so. The questions will be asked like, what is the value of m? What is the value of m plus a plus t? Okay, and which of the following is the set of even numbers? Okay, so what we have to do is we have to identify each value, each alphabet. Okay, uh, corresponding to its digit. Okay, so you have to identify e is representing which digit. Okay, okay. So to solve these problems, we have some basic uh, rules. Okay. So let's go to the fundamental rules of the cryptomatic problem. Okay, so this is our first tutorial about how to solve a uh, cryptomatic problem. Okay, so the basic fundamental rule is okay. So each variable should have unique and distinct values. Okay, uh, what does is mean is okay. Suppose if you are considering a is equal to two. Okay, then the other variable in the problem. Cannot have value equal to two. Okay, in the given problem above, in the given problem above, here you can see that. Okay, suppose you are taking a is equal to two. Okay, a is equal to two. Okay, so what you have to do is you cannot take well any other alphabet having value equal to two. It means value of b cannot be equal to two. Value of m cannot be equal to two, and value of r cannot be equal to two. Our uh, Etcetera's like value of y cannot be equal to two. Okay, so the each variable should have unique and distinct values. If you are taking 
suppose the value of m is equal to 3 okay so any alphabet cannot have value m is equal to 3 in this problem okay now let's go to the second point each letter symbol represents only one digit throughout the problem okay so what it signifies is you cannot take the uh, you cannot take some place value of a is equal to 3 and some place a is equal to 2 in a single problem okay if you are getting a is equal to 3 and a is equal to 2 in the same problem the solution is wrong okay so let's clarify this suppose uh, you are getting here the value of a is equal to 5 okay in this case here you are getting the value of e is equal to 3 okay and here you are getting the value of e is equal to 6 okay so in the same problem for one alphabet you are getting three values somewhere you are getting value of e is equal to 3 somewhere you are getting at other place you are getting the value of e is equal to 5 and at other place you are getting the value of e is equal to 6 okay so in the same problem you cannot take the uh, you cannot take the value of any alphabet okay uh, more than once means uh, you cannot take some place a is equal to 2 and some place a is equal to 3 in a single problem okay if you are getting a is equal to 2 and a is equal to 3 in the same problem the solution is wrong okay now let's go to the third point number must begin with 0 numbers must not begin with 0 must not begin with 0 that is 0 1 2 3 is wrong and 1 2 3 is correct how this point will help you in solving arithmetic problem let's see this in this case suppose this one m e 0 y okay so here you can see that okay suppose if uh, m e 0 y is representing a number 1 2 3 4 okay so the value of m cannot be equal to 0 okay so you cannot write 0 2 3 4 if you have to write uh, 234 you can simply write 234 234 you not need to write 0 there okay so in this case you cannot take the value of the m is equal to 0 okay so here also for other example you can see that you cannot take the value of b is equal to 0 okay so if you will take the value of b is equal to 0 means the b o b will repair uh, rip, uh, will uh, turn into uh, 0 o 0 okay which is not a valid number so uh, in most significant bit okay most significant bit cannot be equal to 0 okay so this is what we are trying to say so in this case the most significant bit is m m most significant value is m okay most significant bit is m so we cannot take it as a zero okay so in this case the most significant number uh, digit is b okay alphabet is b so value of b cannot be equal to zero okay so numbers must not begin with a zero in the given problem above value of m and b cannot will and uh, cannot be equal to zero okay so basically now go to the third point uh, third point numbers must not begin with zero you I think you got the idea okay so you have to find the value of uh, let's go to the fourth point okay so you have to find the value of each letter in arithmetic problem okay so you have to identify what is the value of O here what is the value of Y what is the value of L what is the value of E okay so there uh, you have to identify each and every alphabet okay now let's go to the fifth point okay so there must be only one solution to the problem okay so for this problem this problem you will get only one solution okay the numerical base unless specifically stated it is 10 okay seventh point is after replacing letters by the digits okay the resulting arithmetic operation must be correct okay means if you have replaced uh, just for one example I'm telling suppose uh, you have taken the value of e is equal to uh, 6 okay and the value of o is equal to 5 okay so you can see that where you have taken uh, value of e is equal to 6 okay and you have taken value of o is equal to 5 so if you will add this o uh, 5 uh, if you will add 5 plus 5 okay it will be equal to 0 okay but in the problem 
earlier you have taken the value of e is equal to 6 okay so this is not uh, this doesn't satisfy the basic arithmetic operations like this 5 plus 5 uh, is equal to 10 so the value of e is equal to, should be 0 so value of e cannot be equal to 6 this is what this point says after replacing letters by their digit the resulting arithmetic operation must be correct 